Welcome to your guide for mastering Windows 10. In today's digital world, knowing your way around your computer's operating system is a fundamental skill. This tutorial is designed to make you comfortable and proficient with Windows 10 in a very short time. We will transform you from a beginner into a confident user, ready to tackle any task. Think of this as your personal training session. We will break down complex topics into simple, manageable steps that are easy to follow. Our goal is to empower you with the knowledge to use your computer effectively for work, school, or personal projects. Let's begin this journey together and unlock the full potential of your PC. An operating system, or OS, is the most important software on your computer. It acts like the brain of the machine, coordinating everything. The OS manages all of the computer's hardware, from the mouse and keyboard internal processor memory. It also allows you to communicate with your computer in a visual way. Windows 10 is the latest version of the popular Windows operating system created by Microsoft. It is designed to be user-friendly and powerful, running on millions of devices worldwide. You will also hear the term app, which is short for application. An app is simply a program that helps you perform a specific task, like writing a document browsing the internet. You will find Windows 10 on many types of computers. Desktops, laptops. A workstation is a more powerful computer, often used by professionals for demanding tasks like video editing or three-dimensional modeling. A server is a computer that provides services to other computers over a network. For example, a web server hosts the websites you visit. Windows 10 is versatile enough to be used in all these environments, but it comes in different versions or editions. Each edition is tailored for a specific type of user, ensuring everyone has the features they need for their specific tasks and goals. Windows 10 has several main editions. Windows 10 Home is the standard version included with most new PCs and is perfect for everyday use. It has all the core features you need for personal tasks and entertainment. Windows 10 Pro includes everything in the Home Edition, plus additional features for business and professional users, such as enhanced security networking tools. For large organizations, there is Windows 10 Enterprise, which offers advanced features for IT management security. Finally, Windows 10 Education is designed for schools and universities, providing tools for both students' educators. Understanding these differences helps you know what your specific version of Windows can do for you. In this tutorial, we have a clear set of goals to guide your learning. First, we will focus on the absolute basics of interaction. You will learn how to use both a traditional mouse and a modern touchscreen to navigate the system. We will cover essential mouse operations like clicking, double-clicking, and right-clicking. For touch devices, you will master gestures like tapping and swiping. These fundamental skills are the building blocks for everything else you will do in Windows. Once you are comfortable moving around, we will proceed to the next step, starting up your computer and securely signing into your user account, which is your personal space on the device. After you have successfully signed in, you will be greeted by the Windows 10 desktop. This is your main workspace, and we will identify all the important objects you see there you will become familiar with the Start menu, the Taskbar, and Desktop icons. From there, our next objective is to start and manage applications, or apps. You will learn how to launch any program you need, whether it is a word processor or a web browser. We will also show you how to navigate within an app's window using menus and toolbars. You will practice switching between multiple open apps, a crucial skill for multitasking and improving your productivity throughout the day. Next, we will dive into managing your files and folders using an essential tool called File Explorer. This is the central hub for accessing all your documents, pictures, and other data. We will teach you how to open File Explorer and navigate through different drives and folders. Customization is another key objective. We want you to make Windows 10 your own. You will learn how to personalize the Start menu by adding app tiles, removing app tiles, and resizing app tiles to fit your preferences. This allows you to create a workspace that gives you quick access to the tools and files you use most often, making your experience much more efficient. Finally, we will cover some powerful features that make daily tasks easier. We will explore the search function in depth, 
showing you how to quickly find any app or file on your computer. You will also learn how to install new apps from the Microsoft Store, expanding your computer's capabilities. We will look at the integrated search box and its smart assistant features, including how to set reminders to keep you organized. To wrap up our initial training, we will cover the proper procedures for signing out of your account and shutting down your computer. By the end of this introduction, you will have a solid foundation for all the advanced topics to come. Let's begin by turning on your computer. When you press the power button, your device will go through a boot up process. After a few moments, you will see the lock screen. It typically displays a background image with the current time and date. The lock screen protects your session and prevents accidental input. To move past it, click your mouse, press any key on the keyboard, or swipe up on a touch screen. That reveals the sign-in screen. You will see your user account name and the associated picture or icon. If multiple accounts exist, a list appears in the bottom left so you can select one. To sign in, provide a password or another authentication method. A password is a secret combination of letters, numbers, and symbols. Type it carefully into the text box. Characters will show as dots or asterisks. Windows 10 also supports a PIN and a picture password. A PIN is a short number sequence that's faster to type. It's tied to your device for extra security. Select PIN on the sign-in screen and enter your numbers. After entering the correct password or PIN, press Enter, or click the arrow sign-in button. Windows verifies your credentials and loads your personal desktop. You'll land on the desktop, your virtual desk surface. It's where you'll do most of your work. Typically a clean space with a wallpaper background. Key elements appear on the desktop. Bottom left, the Start button. Click it to open the Start menu. Along the bottom is the taskbar. It shows currently running applications. It also shows pinned shortcuts. Desktop icons are shortcuts to files, folders, and programs. This environment is your personal space, customized and ready for your tasks. The knowledge you have gained from this tutorial is your key, but practice is what will truly unlock the door to Windows 10 mastery. The best way to solidify these new skills is to use them immediately. I encourage you to take a few moments right after this to try out the core actions we have discussed. Go ahead and sign out, sign back in, create a new document in WordPad, write a few sentences, save it, create a new folder, move that file into it. These simple, repetitive actions build muscle memory, making operations feel second nature and boosting your confidence with every click and keystroke. Next, explore what we've covered. Open the Photos app. Create a new album with favorite pictures. Launch Microsoft Edge. Browse a few favorite websites. Try reading view on an article. Check your security settings in Windows Security. Look for green check marks. Know you're in control of system safety. Find your OneDrive folder in File Explorer. Move a file into OneDrive to back it up. This simple act of backing up a file to the cloud is one of the most important habits you can develop to protect your data. Remember the power of search. Use the search bar on the taskbar or in File Explorer. Try advanced searches like file type or date. You'll locate exactly what you need fast. Every search makes you more of a Windows power user. This tutorial is the foundation. Explore more chapters and guides if you want advanced topics. Now apply what you've learned. Click around, explore settings, try new things. You are equipped to navigate, manage, and secure your computer. Congratulations on completing this course. Go forth and conquer your digital world, one click at a time. Thank you for watching.